Why is it that every driver I use, it seems to exaggerate my bad shot? That left to right goes even further to the right. Surely there must be a driver out there that can help. Now as golfers, we generally all hit a certain shot shape and that shot shape is exaggerated even further where we've got the big stick in hand and that shot shape will it'll generally be a uh, well a duck hook to put it politely or a shape that resembles an extremely bent banana and despite wanting to do things properly and take all those lessons the likelihood is that slice will still prevail because you know what 60 percent of golfers hit a slice and one of those main contributing factors will be just how open your club face is at that impact position so surely you would buy yourself an anti-slice driver it's a no-brainer isn't it and from what i've seen so far then callaway's big bertha 2023 is quite possibly the ultimate anti-slice driver that is out there however there are a few things that you need to be aware of but the interesting bit for me is just how callaway have put this year's big bertha together because it's a very interesting thought process in terms of technology to reduce that possible slice and as usual that's very much to do in the way the weighting system is put together you see big bertha 2023 does something very different that we would normally associate with anti-slice drivers yes there is significant weighting within that heel location to promote a draw bias but It is the weight that is in the front of the club face that has got me a little bit baffled. You see what they've done in this year's Big Bertha 2023 is, as you can see, they've put some very much visible weight in that heel area that we would normally associate with an anti-slice driver. Like I said, draw bias. You'd then expect to see some very weight at the very back of this driver head, which is pretty much what we see in all forgiving drivers, if you like, um, but, that's not where the weight is positioned within Big Bertha. It's positioned very much front and low, which we'd normally associate with low spinning drivers. And it's that low spin, which Big Bertha and Callaway claim to be what is gonna have the ultimate impact in reducing that spin, which causes the slice, but still gonna give you ample forgiveness and ball speed. It's a very interesting and different concept in my opinion. And we've also got an extra large club head face, which is forged titanium. It's uh, extra large and also has an extra large sweet spot as Callaway claim. And I've got to say so far, the ball speeds off of this thing have been very impressive for this type of driver. And so far we've managed to find some fairways. And that is no different and that high launching element is very prevalent within that drive as is the ball speed because it's gone an incredibly long way and maybe that sweet spot is helping who knows there was no movement in that ball flight whatsoever to be fair a fairly straight drive but the high launching bit with the weight so far forward like i said a little bit baffled so the question is in brief does it work and I suppose the simple answer to that question is yes, but with some caveats, and I mentioned there's a few things you need to be aware of before you consider putting this one in the bag. And that first thing to consider is the head shape and the profile because it is very, very different. However, you have seen it in the previous models of Big Bertha in that it is a very elongated, almost triangular shape at a dress which is one consideration the second being the amount of offset that is within this driver that's probably one of the main things that works against this slice that you've potentially got in your game and closing that club face up potentially helps you not slice the ball and we spoke about earlier about the impact position being open when you slice the ball then that amount of offset like i said theoretically could shut that down a little bit and work against your slice but that offset is very visual as is the difference in the shape from a traditional driver 
and they're two things you're going to have to be comfortable with. Now whilst we spoke about the way these things look at address in terms of that offset and the shape for the profile at address, we've also got to do the obligatory how does this look in terms of shelf appeal. I'd say okay, almost a kind of like dated look without it being a kind of retro feel to it. I think it kind of needs a little bit of a kick on in many ways, Big Bertha design uh, to move forward a little bit. Maybe that's uh, different to what most people would think. It kind of really does sit into a category that it's been in for quite some time. And that's kind of uh, very much middle of the road. Uh, okay, graphically, not my cup of tea, if I'm being perfectly honest, but each their own, I suppose. But this is, of course, a driver for the masses, and it's going to tick a lot of boxes. They've got some very lightweight options in terms of where the shafts start from 40 gram, 50, then 60. It's this RC8 shaft, which again, I've got in a 55 reg, which has been, uh, well, fairly stable, to be honest, considering the lightweight uh, shaft and the reg flex, but there's also the introduction of what they're calling a lightweight jailbreak within that head frame, providing the stability off the face. And I've got to say, again, a super high launching ball. It's performed incredibly well, and it is incredibly long as well. I keep looking for the ball to come down, and that's probably been the biggest surprise for me, is just how fast the ball speeds are and how high launching it is when you consider the way this driver has been put together. And the only thing that I would potentially question about those shafts is the 45.75 length of shaft, because arguably the way this club is put together and who it is aimed at would surely benefit from having a shorter length shaft. Right, let's see if we can get this wedge close. Let's carry a bit more. Carry a bit more. Oh, that was greedy and today's video is brought to you in partnership with Hot Golf, the online golf mega store, bringing you the hottest deals in golf. And of course, the clubs featured in today's video. Find the link to the Hot Golf website in the description below and check out some incredible giveaways and offers. But the other thing that you really need to consider about this Big Bertha driver it is the very much an anti slice driver and not a draw bias driver. What do I mean by that? Well, many of you will know that very recently I swapped into what is a draw bias driver to try and negate my fade. And many people commented that that was potentially a mistake because what I should have actually done was took lessons and realized what the problem was with my swing to stop fading the ball. But that's not what I wanted to do. You see, the thing is, I like fading the ball. Like I said, everybody has a shot shape of some type and I like to fade the ball. What I don't like to do is slice the ball and that's a very different shot. You see, the one problem with Big Bertha is I almost cannot slice the ball at all. And when I slice, I mean fade and I've got no control whatsoever because this ball wants to do or this club wants to do one thing and that's hit that ball left. Which let's be honest is exactly what this club is designed to do. It is very much anti-slice, not just draw bias. So if you want to hit a fade, trust me, it's almost impossible to do so with this driver head profile at address position because like I said, it is just severely down that left hand side. It is as closed as they can make it to stop you opening that club face up come the impact position. So very much anti-slice. And that for me is just a little bit too much on a personal level, but for many it's designed to do exactly what you are asking for. So the question is, have Callaway gotten themselves the ultimate anti-slice driver on their hands? And the simple answer to that question is yes, they have. But with those caveats that I've mentioned, because to enable that, there are certain things they've had to do with that club head in the profile, in the offset, and in the weighting system. But the weighting system, I would say, is very much the positive in that I've seen really good ball speed, still really high launching balls. Don't look as though they're spinning too greatly either. So 
really from a technology point of view have done something very much different than what we've seen before to produce that anti-slice movement that anti-spin from left to right but could I use the drive? Well, I can make it work, but I'd have to do certain things in terms of that head to make it work at the address position, open it up, maneuver it a little bit. They're not the things that I would want to personally do, and that's why it's not a driver for me, but it is a driver for many who've got a real issue with a big slice because I would suggest this will go some way to helping you out a little bit and maybe making the game a little bit more enjoyable. That's what this thing is all about. We see a lot of clubs getting tested on this channel and there's a huge amount being released by brands right now. But the way you need to look at it is simply that you've got a huge array of golf clubs to choose from. And all that gives you is uh, a better chance of getting clubs that suit your needs and requirements. Right, you know, absolutely glorious day here at Carden Park. I'm gonna carry on playing a few holes to finish and uh, well, as ever, I'll probably see you tomorrow night.